I'm Frank Pollier and we are here at the Bay and Algoma District in the center of Thunder Bay talking to Catherine Lyson about the emerging Thunder Bay region group. And the concept is something that appeal, appeals to many people who have left uh, town and now they're looking at coming back. We want to learn from Catherine's experience of uh, you know, having left town and why some of the reasons and some of the opportunities that you found outside and now looking, having come back to Thunder Bay looking at things in a different perspective from a different lang angle. So Catherine, tell us about your experience of having decided to leave and then coming back. What have you found? Well, I left Thunder Bay in 2000 after I graduated from high school and uh, when I left I really didn't think I would ever come back to Thunder Bay. Um, it didn't seem like the place where I would, thought I would ever spend the rest of my life. I wanted to live in a big city and I wanted to have a fabulous career and I didn't think I could do that here. So in 2000 I left and moved to Ottawa where I went to school at Carleton University and uh, I got a journalism degree there. So when I was done I was looking for a job and in Ottawa the um, job market for uh, oh, journalism. You were in the right place. It was well uh, for the right place to be but also incredibly competitive. When I moved home in 2005 I actually was approached by a local media station who'd heard that I was coming back to town and that I had a journalism degree and did I want a job. They were looking for a reporter so I said well okay I'll take a chance and try it in Thunder Bay for a little while and became a reporter and then an editor for a local paper. My eyes were open to so many things that go on in Thunder Bay that I never knew. I never knew about our arts and cultural scene before. I never knew about all the bands, the local bands that come out of Thunder Bay and the bands that come to play at small venues in Thunder Bay. They're amazing. I never knew about different groups and initiatives to make the city better. And working at the paper really opened my eyes to that and really made me feel like this is a city that you know, I could be proud of and I could want to live in, which was really exciting for me and never somewhere I thought I would ever be. Now you're here and obviously you are, seem to enjoy staying and living in Thunder Bay. How has that experience been for you? Living in Thunder Bay, I have a job that I want and a career that I want and I have a 10 minute commute to work every day and I have the opportunity to still do writing and do other work on the side because it's, um, it's not um, you don't need to be in a large center to do the kind of work that I do. You can do a lot virtually, you can do a lot over the phone. So how did you find the quality of life here and what kind of opportunities have you found that you can talk about to the people that are watching us? I'm a mix of sort of a, an urbanite. I like, I like the sort of big city stuff. I like to go out and have martinis. I like to go to clubs, things like that. And then I have the other side of me that loves the outdoors and I like to ski. I like to cross country ski. I like to be outside. So the fact that I can leave work at 4.30 and be on the ski trails by 5 o'clock is to me amazing. That's something that you can't get when you're in a larger center and I have so much more time for life because my time at work is not doesn't include a two-hour commute. What would you tell your friends about returning to Thunder Bay, the kind of quality of life that you can find here? More and more you can see the growth in the city, you can see new uh, wine bars opening up, new social places, you know, there's, there are new places, modern places opening up all the time. There's a new catering to a demographic that's interested in that more urban lifestyle, you know, you can go out and you can, if you love to, you know, go to Sleeping Giants and hike, you could come back in and go for a, an amazing meal and wine, yeah. you know, and it's, and that's, that's a great plus for the city, you're, you're so close, you can do both in the same day. Well, thank you, Catherine. It was great uh, talking to you, learning from your experience. And uh, thank you for the viewers for listening to our discussion today. Catherine came back to Thunder Bay, obviously very excited about living here and lived in Ottawa, learned from that experience, brought it back. And hopefully the viewers will learn from all of that, from the testimonial that she brings uh, to us today. Thank you for watching.